Good evening, Big Lou 3 again, uh, doing another little tabletop discussion about a Ruger LCR, and this is the Ruger LCR in 38 plus P, uh, hammerless. It is a five shot, let's go ahead and clear it, five shot revolver with the Hogue recoil tamer grips. And I picked this up actually today, and we'll probably take it to the range hopefully in the next couple of days. I have had one of these in the past uh, and did not keep it, which I was dumb for doing that. Um, basically, in the summer, I like to carry something really lightweight. My wife carries a 85 Taurus in the Plus P, and it's a, it's a lightweight, and I opted to go with the uh, Ruger. And I will say this, uh, another... I've always liked Rugers. Uh, Rugers have been around a long time, and when you say Ruger, it's synonymously, you know, a good quality gun. Uh, the one thing I did like about this one is, uh, in the winter, I do wear type of tactical gloves. It does have a large enough trigger housing uh, where you could actually put a a glove through it, which I kind of like. Uh, it does have the same uh, technology as the. Uh, metal shroud and barrel, uh, all plastic body, and then of course your metal uh, trigger um, and your uh, release for your cylinder and of course your metal cylinder. Uh, one thing uh, on this one that I am very pleased about, and I'd like to say this definitely, if you ever get a chance to use excess big dot sights, uh, they are phenomenal. I got turned on to these about, I'm going to say, two or three years ago from Stephanie Pasternak from Excess, and uh, she has been a supporter of my gun company and uh, sent me a whole bunch of product information and, and just all kinds of good guy stuff, and uh, this one actually came equipped with it, so of course I couldn't be happier. And uh, just a quick thing, a little side note about Excess. Uh, I, I really like the big dot uh, concept. Uh, I am a, a bifocal wear, and uh, I've have within the last couple of years learned to shoot with both eyes open, and you get such a quick target uh, transition and acquisition using that type of sight. And uh, so I highly suggest it. It is a, an awesome um, investment. And uh, so XS sights. So you need to check them out. Uh, so give them a plug because they have a very good product. Uh, I saw their booth at SHOT Show and uh, looked at all the products that they're coming out with for the AK, the AR, and all that. And I cannot uh, boast on them enough. Uh, if you are looking for a great uh, site, uh, I'm telling you, you're, you're just not, uh, you just can't get a better one. Uh, Trenchicon, of course. Is synonymous with uh, quality uh, but it, just a super 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 good sight now back to the Ruger uh, but like I said very lightweight very lightweight uh, and I've got big hands and they kind of swallows it up so uh, I really think that uh, Ruger has come out with an, again a, a formable handgun uh, this one was going to be making its way to the range, and I'm hoping it performs as well as I know it will. And uh, price point on these, uh, I was very fortunate to come across this one. This is actually a used one, and I got this at a, a local uh, gun dealer here in town. I got this for $379. A new one is around uh, $429 to $450. So, but the only thing is, I let, the reason I jumped on this is because of the sight. So, uh, price point I think is a is a good, uh, a, a an excellent uh, price point, and I think uh, 38 plus P is a excellent uh, concealed uh, caliber. Uh, I am primarily a revolver type person, although I do like Glocks and all that. Uh, I think a wheel gun. Uh, in my opinion, uh, for myself, and I speak for myself, and it's my opinion, uh, I think a wheel gun is a excellent uh, uh, protection weapon, not only for the home, uh, but for carry. 
So if you get a chance to actually come across one of these, I would highly suggest it. Uh, you know, these, these polymer guns that they are coming out with uh, is getting to be the thing of the future. I mean, it's, 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 it's on us. You know, we thought it was all awesome when Glock came out with it. Now all of a sudden they're starting to come out with, uh, with uh, handguns and uh, revolvers. And I think that's a, a good market to be in. So uh, if you get a chance, uh, definitely pick up uh, a Ruger LCR uh, by uh, St Sturm Ruger, uh, who have been in business uh, as long as or maybe less uh, than Smith & Wesson. And uh, you can pick you up one of these little bad boys uh, in, the, in the 38 plus P. They do make it in a 357 Magnum, and I'll be honest with you, I can't imagine shooting the 357 out of something this small. But hey, uh, I think a 38 plus P or 38 Special load is pretty much all you really need. So, but I just wanted to give a quick little review on this. Uh, I'm gonna try to get some uh, uploads of a, the range time on it, and let you all see how that turns out. Uh, but I hope uh, hope this was a little bit of good information for you. Super super nice revolver. Um, Great quality. This Big Lou 3 signing off.